assalamu alaikum students hope you guys are doing well um we did this model uh, last week in the class um we addressed a few problems which uh, potentially uh, like all of you had so we tried to fix them um or at least we tried to discuss all those things so i just added a few more elements in this uh, bottle which we made in the class no the objective of today's uh, this video tutorial is how you will have to present this thing as a midterm project uh, the while you guys made and the among us character you made so all you need to make it more presentable and you guys will have to upload it on sketchfab website so i will just tell you uh, we'll go through the entire process and you will guy will get the idea that how we'll have to do this so all i need right now is to um, select all the elements here i will try to keep it concise and to the point so we don't get um, confused or things does not bother us that what exactly i was doing so we only need these things we uh, applied this hdri environment uh, you can see it here but actually uh when we will export it as fbx file we will have this type of model without any uh these material details on it if we would have applied the texture then we might need the texture at the sketch fab to apply what are the textures for example we have some kind of image logo here or some special type of bumps or shapes of like the texture of the cork uh, on this cap so as we haven't applied those textures so we might not need them right now so all we need is to export these 3d models which we developed <clears throat> these so when we select all these elements from this collections we'll have to go in the export and select this fbx and we'll have to check this if it's unchecked selected objects and i am exporting it which i already did i am just overwriting the same uh file in the uh wherever you want to locate it and i export this <clears throat> once i have exported this model i open the sketch web uh this is what we have to actually achieve this is something which i found on the sketch web somebody already uploaded this <clears throat> so you can see this is quite neat model very nice um you can even download this model for free here so you'll have to um uh, log in here uh so <clears throat> once you are uh signed up or you are logged in in this all you need is to click on this icon the like if you uh, just stay on the top of the page you'll find this upload button there so either you can <coughs> uh, you can drag and drop your model here or you can browse it and locate it where you have saved it uh, i made a folder in here so select the file and click upload so it is um, uploaded and you can uh, give the title for example i give it while class you can add the detail whatever you want to add um it's actually these details are important and even the title is important so your object can be easily accessed by people and they can search the relevant uh, they can search it in the relevant category so you'll have to do all these things very carefully for example okay let's put it in art and abstract category <clears throat> and you can tag it as while 
portal um, through the um, lender and so on. So whatever you feel is the most relevant, you can keep adding it. It's very good to have um, as many tags as possible, but try to keep them relevant to the subject what you have. So if they are relevant to the thing which you have uploaded, then it will be easier to access for everyone. So you can either make it free to download, or you can make it like uh, no one can, everyone can see it, but no one can download it. Or you can, if you have very outstanding model, you can put it on sale. You can like become a seller and you can and give it a price set of how much value you want to sell it. So for the moment, I just make it a free object so everyone can download it because it's not something very uh, special that I put it on sale. So I make it available for everyone to download it. So save and publish, but first I go in the Well, we are going to edit the 3D settings. This is very important. This was the objective of showing you why you have to upload these things. Uh, this is very simple and intuitive process. You can see all the three materials are showing as three separate objects there. So, what we have to do is, for example, These are the different categories, just like in Blender, we have lighting, materials, uh, and like post-processing filters. This is post-work, which we can do in Blender as well. But this is the place where we just need the 3D model and its texture. And we will do the rest right here. So these are the default things. Uh, if we want to rotate the... Um, the transformation properties and the rotation and all that stuff. Uh, this is all about uh, the things if you want to let it as there is some uh, default light is uh, like casting here and these are the shadows. So these are some default features which we can adjust. This is the focal length of the field of view of the camera. And uh, if we go to the lights, we can switch on the lights and there are the lights. We can adjust them, we can reposition them and we can rotate them. But for the moment, not. We can even have this ground shadow. So it's up to you if you want to have it. Um, we can reduce its intensity. This is baked ambient occlusion. So ambient occlusion is this dark area underneath this um, object which makes this um, look as if it's kept on some place. So it is a cool thing actually. It's good to do it. When it's baked, it will not take too much time to load. So we can do this. Um, it's our own choice if you want to make it darker or lighter. So uh, here are the materials. These are the things which were already applied. For example, if we go with the cap, we can adjust its color and we can adjust all the properties which we already had in Blender. So here we don't want to do lots of changes here. I'll just give it a random texture which is a little desaturated. Then I select the other texture, gold one. And I increase its metalness. Actually, there is nothing to re that can reflect on this, so I'll have to reduce. Glossiness. Yeah. This this will look a little cool. Um, metal, but on this. Not too reflective, but a little bit. Now, I guess this will work. So, let's deal with the material of the bottle first. Uh, 
roughness to zero like this and this mess a little bit and then we go to opacity turn on refraction there so you might have observed these are the almost same type of things which we already had in the blender when you will keep playing around these uh, parameters you will get to know that what is the purpose of um, all these things mainly we have to deal with the uh, refraction as you already know which you did in the blender okay. I believe this will work now let's pick the other material this one can we go to the opacity So I guess it's fine for now. Let's work on the post processing filters. So here we add some bloom actually make these all these highlights to stand out. And we can adjust this intensity. The show value is uh, how much it spills the color, its radius and all that stuff. So these are all optional things which can make your model stand out. Just look at the effect of bloom right here if you turn it off and on. So it's a matter of choice. You if you if you don't want to add these things, you can do that. This anti-aliasing work to fix these jagged edges and artifacts on our model if it's low res. So to avoid them. We just turn on the interlude. We don't need animation annotation at the moment. So, uh, for environment and lighting, for lighting, we we already have this reflection enabled here. So, if we set as background, then instead of this white thing, we will be able to see this background. So, which doesn't look okay to me because it is just like if we see it in this mode. So, it's good if we turn off the background and we have only the reflections. So, I want to do the same thing here, but I can change these environments from where we are getting the lights. We can adjust the orientation of the background, brightness and contrast. Uh, 
uh, then in the background options we can either use these images It'll take a while to load the image if you select it from here so you don't have to worry if it's not appearing it will appear in a while so you can see In my personal choice, I guess I, I will stick with this darkest environment. This look good to me. I will just try to fix the material of the bottle. So Yeah, it's fine, I guess. I like to add this vintage effect. This makes these edges dark and the center thing a little lighter. Uh, but if you already have chosen the dark color, it will not be uh, registered very well. So go back to the scene and make this color a little lighter so you can see the difference. There it is. Uh, now, this is something uh, you can easily share this the link of your while uh, and everyone can see it without having Blender. So, it is easier for others to review the model and you can showcase your portfolio or you can get it approved from your client. So, it's good to uh, have the account on this website. So. For the midterm project, you guys will have to upload your models which you have already have done among us number to this file. You will have to upload and you will have to share the links either on that Molim app. I hope it will work. Even if it doesn't work, you will have to share it on the Google Classroom so I can share it with the management so they can review your work which you have done so far. So uh, this was very simple process. There isn't anything rocket science. So you can take your time. You can add more details. Uh, there are lots of things, amazing tutorials online. You can see if you have some kind of specific problems, you can always ask me. I'm always around. I try to respond to you guys. So you, most of you have my WhatsApp number. If you don't have it, there is no problem. You can ask your questions on the Google Classroom stream, uh, I will always try to respond to you as soon as possible. So don't hesitate to ask things. Instead of procrastinating and delaying the assignments, you should post it uh, on the given date. I will uh, add the assignment on the Google Classroom. Actually, I was supposed to do it all this stuff on the Molium, but unfortunately, it is not working for some reason. So I will add the assignment on the Google Classroom again. You will have to upload it on the given date. So if you don't upload it in time, so there will be no marking given to you for the midterms. So all the best for this. This is a very simple process. I hope you will all will be able to achieve this. There isn't any rocket science. So once you are done with all this stuff, all you need is to click on publish, save and publish. It will take a little while and your model will be, see, your model will be available to you. 
you can copy this link you can share it to anyone or even if you don't copy the link right now you can generate it later so there is no problem you don't have to worry about it go to your profile and check your models and here is your first model if you click on it very simple if you want to edit the properties you can edit the properties here and you can share this link to anyone you want to share so this is your midterm project to completely upload your both models on sketchfab thank you so much students